Hi everyone, my name is Erica Pinnell. I'm CEO, founder, and designer of Pink Eye Fashions. We're a New York-based custom fashion company. Uh, we basically specialize in custom sneakers, apparel, um, hats, t-shirts, you name it. We basically customize it for the individual. And we've been in business since 2003. Um, started here in New York as well and basically just offering the customers an alternative to what's in the stores um, as opposed to going into buying off the rack we wanted to offer them something that's basically to them unique as a person and we have this belief that everyone is an artist within themselves some people just can't execute it and um it basically started just with me customizing my own shoes, my love of sneakers, and my love of art. I'm a visual artist as well. I paint canvases. I do graphic design and everything. And my love of sneakers and my love of art, I just decided to blend the two. Basically just because of what wasn't available in the stores. If you go into stores now, you can see a lot of colorful shoes and more catered to different kind of people. But uh, when I was in school and years ago, <laughs> in high school or junior high school there weren't that many options available as far as sneakers go and you just got you know Jordans or Nikes um, very basic so I just started doodling on my shoes and I started getting compliments just from people I knew in the neighborhood and little by little you know they started to ask me to design theirs and I saw there was a little bit of a momentum in this um, basically I call it the coffee cup syndrome Basically, everybody likes the personalized coffee cup to themselves with their name on it. Meanwhile, there's a main of them produced, but when you get it with your name on it, it still feels special to you. So I took that concept and applied it to, you know, fashion. Um, not so much a fashion designer, but just um, customizing certain things like shoes and stuff that's already available. But just giving them that extra flair for the person. And once I started um, just to build up a few clientele, just local friends and things like that, because usually those are the best ones to build your business. Um, I started to think of a name for a company, and it's kind of funny, the name <laughs> itself, because it actually is kind of gross. It's a medical term, but uh, Pink Eye Fashions, and I came up with that um, one day, just I think while brushing my teeth in the bathroom, and I just thought it was really, it worked really well. And basically, uh, pink eye is because it ca uh, it's contagious and it catches on to people and very fast. You know, you can touch somebody and it's viral and it's instant. So the best way for me to market that was to use uh, tones of pink and uh, black um, and yellow because, you know, yellow is a cautionary color. So my company colors are basically pink, black, and yellow. And... I started off um, just basically, you know, working with the name and, like I said, pink eye, pink eye, because uh, I would walk down the street and people would catch on to what I was wearing. Uh, little by little, I started kind of mentally taking tally of people wearing my stuff or people wearing my stuff and also people looking at what I was wearing. And that's how it just caught on, like, pink eye. They caught it. So from there came um, my tagline which is, did you catch it yet? That's what's on the t-shirt here and on my sign, which is usually at a lot of shows. Um, and I started uh, very early, like I said, I didn't have a big budget because again, everything was kind of on my own dime. But I, I started, I found a local sticker company and the did you catch it yet sticker, this one here, it's very small, small bumper sticker, but this has been the momentum of my whole marketing very simple black and white um the font is franklin gothic <laughs> very easily readable font and i just wanted i didn't want to get too crazy like my actual logo itself is very colorful and um contagious looking <laughs> but i wanted the sticker itself to actually be very just in your face and black and white is very bold and marketing and very strong and from there, um, I would just start handing them out to people, friends that I knew and people who ordered shoes for me. They would just get a sticker with their stuff. And it's a very cheap and easy way. Um, I think I might, might have paid like maybe 
less than 25 cents per sticker so it's a very low cost way of marketing but still very effective uh, it's a vinyl sticker so it's not paper so it's waterproof and people like to put on their binders um i started seeing them around poles and signs around town and little by little on trains <laughs> which i'm not super proud about but at the same time still proud about but uh people started just really catching on to the sticker and I've been doing this same sticker since 2003 and I've never changed it. Um, I've changed the size of course but I've never changed the sticker because it was very effective and people just seem to really like it and the, the phrase of did you catch it yet um, and that also went with my website when I was thinking of my website I actually had you know pink eye customs pink eye fashions but then when I came up with the did you catch it yet basically the website name actually answers the question so it's did you catch it yet and then I got pink eye .com. so you're basically answering my catchphrase every time you say that so it's been a very effective way for me to brand myself because um, with the black and white and like I said my company colors are black white well, black black pink and yellow but the white of course goes in there but um, Beyond my logo, when people see the sticker or they see the sign or they see the t-shirt, uh, they very much well know the phrase and they know what that means. And if they don't and they see the sticker or they see um, the sign somewhere, they're going to make a mental note to go to the website. So it's just it works both ways with people who are familiar and not. Um, so that's been the most effective way and like I said, most cost effective. But I've gone with my flyers as well. And my flyers always have this on the back, the Did You Catch It Yet? Just like the sign, it's almost like a mini version of my sign. And then I usually just give a very colorful visualization of the, um, of my actual product. So this is actually a shoe that I designed. Um, and one of the models who, you know, actually was customized along with my shoe. Um, so I just like to show people that I'm a little above actually some of the other artists or sneaker people who are out there, not <laughs> not uh, better than that, but I just have my own style of certain things um, that I like to do, and I like to go a little more on the design. And it's probably because I'm actually a designer as well um, that I incorporate the two of the fashion and the design, so I'm able to have a visual representation. And I like to use all different kind of models. You know, I use uh, white, Indian, black, um, Asian. Because I like to show people that it's a custom, it's a custom business, so it's custom to everyone. And again, my business cards as well, again have the same shoe that's on my flyer. And these have changed over the years. This is my most recent, but I tie in the actual shoe that's on the flyer, and the same shoes are on my card, just in a different shot. And then there's my actually logo, which if you see that, it's very yeah, it's very pink eye and contagious <laughs> but the back of my card has my catchphrase again so it's very repetitious and a very effective way because you know it's just a question um, it's almost like the got milk um, campaign and but the more effective way of mine is that actually my website again that's on the t-shirt and on here have um, opened up a lot of people to come um, on the Facebook and my MySpace and on my website I again have the banner and I have the did you catch it yet and you know people get very intrigued by that and a lot of times I think beyond just the actual sneaker work or the artwork the actual catchphrase catches people and they like to say you know people are very inquisitive so when you tap into their curiosity a lot a lot of times they they just want to know what it is and you know then they become a part of the movement and then they actually like the artwork and they like everything that I'm about the uh, you know organizations I've been affiliated with just and just my overall artwork so and it's fun and it's you know I we've done work for people who you know babies all the way to in their 70s so I think uh, when you tap into custom and you tap into a unique person, unique thing that goes with the individual, it really taps into the person. And again, so I'm leaving on this note and I just wanted to give a little insight to my company and uh, some of my branding techniques. And I hope again that you uh, check out my website actually and it's www.igotpinkeye.com 
and I will leave you with did you catch it yet thank you